This is the story of how we ended up spending two years in India. It all started in November of 2019 when we came back to India to do a cat sit. No, it all started four years ago in South Korea when we were living and working and where we got married and left our home to explore the world. We started traveling with only two backpacks carrying all our belongings. We had no plans, just going with the flow and doing a lot of couch surfing in places like Japan, Taiwan, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and then an opportunity came up to come to India for the first time. That was in 2018. We spent three months in Goa taking care of these two lovely cats and then we traveled three more months around South India. By the way, we made a pretty amazing series of that. Check it out. After that trip, we continued traveling to other countries, Sri Lanka, Oman, United Arab Emirates, and we went back to Jordi's hometown in Spain. We did a few more house sits in the UK and Ireland and got a pretty good opportunity to return to Asia, spending one month in Singapore taking care of two cats. After that, we continued traveling to Malaysia, visited South Korea briefly, and continued our journey to Nepal, before crossing the border back to India to go back to Goa for a longer cat sit with the same cats in the same house we stayed in 2018. Oh yes, we stayed in the amazing city of Varanasi for a few days. Man, what a city! And that was only the beginning. I think it's the first time that after the boarding gate you go like this in outside free, flat. free field. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean for us this might be our place. Oxygen masks will drop automatically from the panel above. Pull a mask down sharply to start the oxygen flow. Cover your nose and mouth. We are in Dubai Airport. We need to take one more flight to go to Goa. Domestic driver. The original plan was to stay six months with these two cats in Goa. We loved spending Christmas again in a warm place, reuniting with old friends and exploring more of Goa while finding a good work-life balance working from home. Since we thought we would be staying there for six months, we planned a bit ahead and got into things that take time, like learning guitar again, growing plants on the garden, and exploring our surroundings, eating lots of fish tali, and getting into the Goan Susegat life. We were having great times enjoying Goan food, going to live music gigs that we love, and walking along the Goan beaches. And then, you know what happened in March of 2020. Thousands infected across multiple so are on lockdown. That means around 50,000 people cannot. Italia entra nella mappa mondiale dei casi confermati di coronavirus. Coronavirus si dice coronavirus quando cade in 2020 è tornato. Since that spring of 2020, the whole world started living with constant uncertainty. The país está en alerta. It's very important that sick people wear masks. Africa has recorded its first deaths from coronavirus. Coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. But we thought it would take a few weeks or months turn into more than a year. COVID-19 has no cure. We must act like any wartime government. Most of the things we take for granted were gone. Gone. Cases continue to emerge with at least 122 Australians. Para decretar el estado de alarma en todo nuestro país. The first confirmed case of death. The state of national emergency has been declared. La falta de equipos y personal médico agobia a los doctores y las enfermeras. Queda autorizada la prórroga del estado de alarma. That COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. This is a global pandemic. A global pandemic. With Minister Narendra Modi has announced a total nationwide lockdown. We started living with curfews, restrictions, and fear. fear. 
We were told to stay home stay and home stay and safe. safe. So we had to change our lifestyle with less freedom. Stay home and stay safe. Lucky for us, being stranded here in India became an opportunity to discover more about it, especially about one of the things we could do from home, food. So we started cooking and learning more about Indian food. Even though we were still in a lockdown, most of the ingredients were still available and that allowed us to feel like we were still traveling and through the dishes we cooked, we felt like we were still exploring this diverse country and its cuisine. Uh, I was gonna make the chapati. Poha rice, biryani. Chicken biryani. Well, Gobi Manchurian. Papaji, which is originally from Maharashtra. Pani puri. Chicken kaprea. Hey, today we're going to make a chal muri. It's very nice. We're gonna make chicken jacuzzi. Okay. Five different maki instant noodles. Nice! I'm a veggie expert. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Urrak! Still unable to travel, it made no sense to us to plan anything at all. We would be taking things as they came. We had to try. Misa Pa. We are going to try some Kerala cuisine. Some of the most popular Goan Christmas sweets. Another Bengali meal. Ho ho ho! Karnataka. And we had a lot of their food. Very sweet. This might be my favorite. <laughs> Goan desserts. A few days ago, we tried for first time a Bengali tali and we loved it. And slowly, things started opening again. We took this chance to explore more places in the nature and as some restrictions were being lifted and small gatherings were allowed, we could meet some of our missed friends. For the next months, we continued this mission of supporting the few small businesses that were open, while still discovering Indian gastronomy from home, whether cooking or ordering delivery food from local restaurants in Goa. That you must try! November marks our two years here and we still don't know how long we will be staying or where we will go next. As more countries are opening, we are getting excited and getting our hopes up to go back to travel life and exploring more of the world. We know it's not going to be the same as two years ago. Things have changed and we will have to adapt. But we continue being the hungry and curious couple wanting to share the journey through the life together while exploring the world. That pretty much sums up how we have been since the pandemic and how these lifetime travel mates ended up staying in India for this long. Whether you're following our journey since years ago or you just found our channel recently, we are happy to have you here. We want to thank you for your support and we want to keep sharing our journey with you.